It's Dirty Story Night! And if you've been listening the last few weeks, you know we're in Dinosaur Month, where our competitors had only 30 minutes in which to write their story after the topic was drawn. This week, we hear from Seamus, a infrequent but funny competitor. Before we begin, I'd like to recommend you check out IBDPresents.com, our parent network. We have written work, podcast, video, and more. This week, my focus is on the video. Go to our YouTube channel. Seamus is actually the Foley artist for It's All Been Done Radio Hour, and you can see a video of Seamus um, making some of the sound effects for one of our shows. There's also some other videos that's behind the scenes stuff, uh, quarterly book club discussions, and more. You'll never know what you're going to find there, um, so head on over to ibdpresents.com. Now enjoy Seamus's dirty story. Hi, my name is Seamus. I mean Seamus, spelled S-E-A-M-U-S. Okay, so this is, I'm actually very disgruntled having to go after this gentleman right now. Um, mine is extremely tame, except um, <clears throat> it was originally made for children. <clears throat> Not like that, you dirty bastard. All right, <clears throat> so again, theme is dinosaurs. All right. Grimlock the Triceratops walks across the... <laughs> I love that somebody got it already. <laughs> I was like, no one's going to fucking get this. No one. Grimlock the Triceratops walked across the lush forest floor as Scorn the, the Pterodactyl flew across the canopy of trees. He craned his head up to see her gleaming, hard, metal body pa- pass near the sun and send a flash of light across his Dinobot eyes. She is the sexiest Autobot there is, only second to Optimus Primal himself. Sweet metallic juices, he exclaimed, thinking to himself. Just thinking of those two powerful, sexy bots in this primitive age made him want to turn his huge tail into a throbbing metal cock. He he decided he was tired of walking around on all fours and morphed into his stylish yet studly Autobot form. Sitting under a tree... Still looking up at Scorn flying around, he turned his tail into a front side prick and slowly started stroking it as it extended into its full girth. (laughs) Thank the metal gods for this giant sore schlong. He wanted to ram his cock deep into her metal orifices and squirt his oil into her. First is USB in. Nope, that was wrong. Flip it over. Nope, that was wrong. (laughs) One more time, back the other way. It fit like a glove. He knew it would. What are you thinking about? A steely voice called from a shadowy cover of a tree across from him. There stood Optimus Primal himself in all his gleaming alloy. He was in his Autobot shape and his giant phallus hung low. How much I want to plug Scorn's ports and about you plugging mine, said Grimlock. (laughs) Optimus Primal walked over to him and knelt before him. And stay tuned next time, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Dinobots.